Hello everyone, this is the Octo Island Training Set. It comes with 241 pieces, retailed in the U.S. for $30. It has three minifigures, and it is ages 7 and up. Alright, and to start off here with the minifigures. First one up is Luke Skywalker, with some really, really, really good printing. Um, my only problem with this figure is actually the fact that it does not resemble the one from The Last Jedi. The clothes here are white, and even in The Force Awakens, we see that he's wearing more of a tannish brown color. So that's off. It looks really good. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It's just not accurate to the scene. He comes with a nice cane, nice simple two-brick build. Um, very suiting hairpiece, facial print, the torso print, leg print, and hip print all look very solid there. He also comes with a nice cape. This is the newer style of cape. It's very, very, very nice. Um, and it has some nice back printing as well. And he also has an alternate face here, which is more of an angry face. And that is the Luke Skywalker figure. Next up here, we have the Jedi training version of Rey. This figure actually does look very accurate to the scene and looks really good as well. Uh, I, I wish the hairpiece was different. I don't know about in this scene specifically. I remember later in the uh, the uh, the throne fight with Snoke and Kylo, her hair was uh, more straight and not bunched up like that. I can't recall the scene exactly. So don't quote me on that, but I kind of do wish we got that hairpiece. We do get it in later sets though, so that's fine. Really good printing, no hip printing, and solid leg printing as well with a nice clear no bubble lightsaber and nice a uh, non-speckled hilt there. Very, very good figure. The next figure up here, if you uh, if you even want to call him a figure, is the Porg. Uh, he's just a little, you know, brick-built thing, and he looks uh, he looks pretty good. Um, no complaints. Uh, that's a nice printed printed headpiece here. It looks uh, pretty good. So uh, you only get one of them, which is a little upsetting. I wish you got another one or two even, but you know. It, look, it looks good for what it is, and I like it. And now getting into the actual structure. It actually looks uh, pretty solid. I like the design here. You have the nice uh, cloth piece here, which looks really good. You have a fire pit out here in the front. Nice tiled off area. It's like it's actually a really solid build uh, for what you get here for just 30 bucks. Um, if you grab your Ray figure, you can actually place her on the back here on this little spinny thing and have her slash and uh, knock over the boulder here if I can get the saber right. It's supposed to knock over the boulder. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't spinning it hard enough. And knocks over the boulder and you're really supposed to open the boulder as well and it just shows a little gem or maybe, maybe it's a kyber crystal or something in there. Something uh, along those lines. And now to get into the build, uh, you can either turn this thing around Nice access to uh, the interior space here, which is really, really nice. Um, you get nice, nice glass here. Nice, what it looks like a like a lantern or something. You can actually lift this little black thing up here, and you just get some other space here. You get like right down here. I got a little plant in there. Um, you got a frying pan up there on the wall. If you can see it, I get a nice angle with the lighting here. Sort of see it. Sorry, it was on the screen. Um, uh, but yeah, I think it's, up. Oh, no, I knocked over the board by accident. Couldn't do it when I was actually trying. Um, you get the bed here. You can actually flip it up to give yourself some more interior space if you just don't want to use the bed. A little pot here. I think it's supposed to be like a sink, and you have a little just kind of wood or stick piece there. Uh, it's, it's actually a uh, pretty nice space here. Uh, one feature is, uh, this thing right here. What you do is you actually pull that down. And this entire piece here uh, flies off. So it's a uh, it's a really nice piece, um, really nice feature I think. Uh, it, it's supposed to represent when Ray shoots this thing down and puts a hole inside of this uh, structure here, but they don't actually give her a blaster. So yeah, but you know it's a it's a good feature nonetheless. And uh, I think that's more or less. Oh, you know actually. Take, you can actually take the top part here off to give you more access to give you more access into the interior. Um, that's more or less. I keep knocking 
this thing over now that I actually am not trying. Um, so yeah, those are the features for the uh, set. And now to give my overall thoughts on the set. I think it actually is a really good set. I think the uh, the structure is actually pretty solid. It's nothing, no complaints, nothing wrong with it. Um, however, I do find a couple problems here with the figures. The Porg, I think actually looks really good. I just wish we got another one of him. For Luke, I think he looks really good. It's just, he's not accurate to the scene. He needs to have more tan or brown on the torso and legs. It's still a good print, however. It's just, it's just not accurate to the scene. And same with Wright. I don't know for sure. So I'll have to look it up. But I think her hair here is supposed to be straight. And not still bunched up like it is in The Force Awakens. You know, just kind of a minor thing there. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, but I think the build itself is actually pretty solid. I mean, maybe they could have closed this off. But that, that would have definitely raised it more than 30 bucks. So... You know, you got to compromise there. But, uh, so yeah, I think it's an overall really solid set. And uh, I think you guys would enjoy this one. And uh, that's all I have to say. I think I'd rate it a 7 out of 10. Uh, for, for what you're getting for 30 bucks, it's uh, not a bad deal. And you get this, I think this is the only set Luke comes in. So that's, uh, that's good to know. Um, it's also a very cheap way to get the Porg. So, yeah, I think it's a, I think it is a pretty good set. So, uh, you know, talking about that, uh, I think it's, I think that's about it. Yeah. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.